Ma'am? Howdy. Are we there yet, Freddy? Almost. Sure is nice of your cousin Calico to teach us all about raising hogfish. She'll be glad for the help. It's hard to run a big ranch all by yourself. Will we get to wear 10-gallon hats? I think a 5-gallon hat. It's more your size. Come on, let's go. On at least seven gallons, Freddy. Six and a half minimum. Hello, everybody. My name is Colorful Artie, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play. It's Freddy Fish 4. The Case of the Hogfish Rustlers of Briny Gulch. In my personal opinion, this is the best Freddy Fish game by quite a bit. It's really different. As you can see, it's like a Western. So it has a completely different setting and feel from the other Freddy Fish games, but it works very well. You've got some great characters, awesome music as per the norm for Humongous Entertainment. And just the overall, it's got some great puzzles and the overall handling of like how you catch the bad guy is pretty well done. It's just a very nice game. And there are two main paths, as is per usual, so I'll be doing the first one solo and then bringing in my sister Marty for the other one. So, let's get started, shall we? So, we're just in this little area over here. Again, it's a humongous Air Jimmy game. So, click on the stuff in the background for some added fun. Are we there yet, Freddy? Almost. Gosh, Luther. I'm glad you're here with me. I'm glad too. So how big are Freddy and Luther? That's what I kind of want to know because... There's Cousin Calico's ranch. We're going to be ranchers soon. Because like Freddy's like talking about wearing a 10 gallon hat and Luther is only like a 5 gallon hat. That's still pretty darn big. <laughs> Maybe Freddy and Luther are a lot bigger than I thought. Carol Katie's cooking is nothing to go on about. <laughs> what? I do when a maple sneaks underneath the table, but my dog fist is fencing right out. <laughs> Good boy. Dang, that was that was a long song for clicking on it only once. Holy cow. Anyways, we're gonna be here forever if we don't continue on. Hi, Cousin Calico. Oh, hello, Freddy. Howdy, Luther. We're ready to help out. Which way to the hogfish? Well, it seems we got a little problem there. See, my prize-winning hogfish herd is being rustled. Rustled? What does that mean? Somebody came and took them without asking. That's not right. No, it's not. And a hogfish requires proper care. I think they might be in real trouble. I just don't know what to do. Did you call the police? I think the sheriff's gone out of town. And I need to stay here at the ranch in case the hogfish get away and come home. Not to mention all the worrying I have to do. We'll help you, Cousin Calico. Luther and I will find the hogfish and catch those rustlers. Yeah! Thank you both. You'll be doing me a real good turn. <laughs> Don't worry, Cousin Calico. We've already solved like three big mysteries before, as well as gone through a maze and caught a bunch of kelp seeds. Uh... <laughs> Very impressive. Yes, you have impressed me with your last one. Did you see the rustlers who took your hogfish, Cousin Calico? No. But you might ask some of the folks in town. Maybe they saw something. Well, that's true. Maybe they did. Did you know we that saw... warm water floats on top of cold water, but ice floats on top of warm water? Hmm. What do you think we should do now, Freddy? Let's look around for clues. <laughs> Let's okay. just sit here and watch Cousin Calico do lasso tricks with her rope. That sounds like a great idea, and always be on your lookout for purple sea urchins. Look, Freddy! A purple sea urchin! 
We're rich! I just really like the overall setting of this game. Like, turning Freddy Fish into a western while still being a mystery is actually brilliant and it works super well. <laughs> Here we are in Briny Gulch. This must be the town square. Let's go ask some of the people who live here if they know anything about those rustlers. There's just like a massive gorge in the center of town. That's kind of insane. Road closed due to construction. Back shortly. Road closed due to construction. Back shortly. So we can't go that way yet. That's basically a, their way of locking us out of the rest of the world map until we've gotten some more information. All right, let's go over here. Customers! <clears throat> Hello and welcome to Just Buckles. I'm Nelson Toso. How can I help you today? I'm Freddy and this is Luther. And we're helping my cousin, Calico Catfish. Rustlers took all of her hogfish. <gasps> Rustlers? Well, I wouldn't know anything about that. Also, always be on your lookout for suspicious looking characters. He seems a little shifty, doesn't he? Did you see this picture? It's my son, Half Nelson. He was real cute as a baby. Don't you think? He has your forearms. <laughs> wow, I didn't realize it's full Nelson and half Nelson. Wow. It says, just buckles. Are you sure you don't know anything about any rustlers? Maybe you just noticed someone acting suspicious lately? No, no, I'm sure I haven't seen anything out of the ordinary. What's that big thing? Uh, oh, that, that's, um, it's a personal project. Nothing important. Uh-huh. This guy looks this guy seems very suspicious. Holy cow. <laughs> what? I forgot what these suspicious plans? He is. Oh, those are the blueprints for the custom belt buckles I make. They feature a stylish arching metal back with a personalized letter on the front. Any letter the customer wants! I'll bet they look nice. Oh, they're very popular. Alright, well, I mean, if I need a buckle, I know who to go to. Alright, he's definitely the rustler. <laughs> he's definitely involved. Oh, hey. We're at the saloon. How's it going, y'all? Hi, I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my best friend, Luther. I'm Perry. Some rustlers took my cousin's hogfish. Have you seen or heard anything suspicious? Rustlers? Well, I'll be stuffed in a jar full of dirt and swung round and round. All right. There are no help. Let's go in here. Welcome to the Rusty Rustler. It's the saloon of the game. It's great. It's got some awesome piano music, and we can even order sodas. Howdy, youngsters. I'm Saltwater Stella, owner and operator of the Soda Loon. What can I do for you? We wanted to ask you if you've seen any rustlers around here lately. Rustlers? Well, there were a couple of suspicious characters in here yesterday. They might have been rustlers. They sat at that table right over there. Oh, boss. Maybe they left a clue. Thank you. Okay, then. She's actually being very helpful. Thank you. What brings you youngsters to Briny Gulch, anyhow? We're visiting my cousin, Calico Catfish. Cal Catfish is your cousin? Outstanding. How is she these days? Well, her hogfish have been rustled. That's terrible. I guess that would explain why you were asking about rustlers. We're going to catch them and free the hogfish. That's good, because rustling folks' hogfish just isn't right. Feel free to look around the soda loon for clues if you like. 
I love how, like, everyone's just like, yeah, these kids can totally go after these rustlers. No, they're, they're probably dangerous. Maybe we should, like, get some adults together to stop it instead. They're just like, no, nah, let's let the kids do it. What can I do for you kids? One bologna soda, please. Bologna soda? What? You bet. That sounds so disgusting. No, I'm not even going to do that. No way. Anyway, sorry about the mess. That's okay. Happens all the time. I should probably stop serving drinks that way. It's just too much fun. <laughs> How many glasses are we gonna go through? I normally you can click on the soda as it's going by and you'll drink it. But no, I decided to spare them both having to drink a bologna soda. That, that's just wrong. One vanilla bean soda, please. I know that the Bible says something bad Coming about right bologna up. sodas. Vanilla bean soda, however, this could be good. Yeah, we click it there. You can really taste the beet. Mm. Wait, was that a vanilla bean soda or a vanilla beet soda? Oh, I hope it wasn't beet, but that would, it would explain the color. Ugh. One algae soda, please. One soda on the house. They're just giving out free sodas? Holy cow. Also, I know an algae soda would be absolutely disgusting, but they are fish, so... Oh. They're both gonna get sick from drinking so many sodas. One prickly pear soda, please. Coming right up. So fun fact, I didn't realize prickly pear juice is actually pink and not green. I think I got a prickle stuck in my tongue. I like the prickly pear flavor. <laughs> oh, that's why it's green. They don't take, like, the actual flowers and juice. They, like, literally just take the whole thing and grind it up. Oh, no, that's bad. You can also click and tap. One rutabaga soda, please. Nope. Uh-uh. One soda on the house. <laughs> rutabaga soda? No, thank you. No way. Why would they order that? <laughs> uh-oh. Thanks, anyway. That's all right. <laughs> With so much suffering in the world today, why drink a rutabaga soda? Come on. One parsnip soda, please. Ew! No! N uh, no wonder we're the only customers here. Apart from the fact that they only have two tables. <laughs> we could help you clean up later if you like. That's okay. I just realized, they're they're underwater. We're fish, we're underwater, and yet you can still pour sodas. How did I never realize this until now? One spicy mango soda, please. Spicy mango? One soda on the house. Wasn't that like a weird British Bake Off combination at one point? Ready? Here it comes. <laughs> she's broken enough glasses, she's like, all right, I'll give you some time to react to this one. <laughs> Alright, remind me not to get that soda. Anyways, that's enough just soda drinking. Let's talk to this guy over here. Hey, bro! How's it going? You're the main character in the new Pixar Hi, movie, right? I'm Freddy, and this is my pal Luther. So, well, hello! Hey, Fingerfield! Dr. Piano Ology, at your service. Stella, at the counter, said she saw some suspicious-looking types in here yesterday. Did you see anything? We think they might have been rustlers. Rustlers? No, I wouldn't know a thing about that. I know the piano, and it knows me, but that's about it. Sorry. I can't help you out. That's okay. Thanks anyway. But they were at the table over there. You're staring right at them. <laughs> also, there's some movies you can watch over here, if you want. 
Let's play. Just riveting. There's a whole lot more you can watch, but we won't do that in this playthrough. Marty and I will probably do that in our playthrough, which will probably be a lot longer as a result. Look, Freddy, maybe this is a clue. Meet at the Rusty Rustler at high tide. Memorize the combination and then eat this note. One, two, six. I'll bet the rustlers left this. I wonder why they didn't eat the note like it says. It probably tastes like paper. We'll hang on to it. That combination must be important. So that's our first clue. Uh, we get the note for a combination. And also it's I didn't realize there was actually a bite mark taken out of that. So they were going to eat the note. Then they're like, Bleh, it's paper. <laughs> Bleh, these are gross. <laughs> and then they did it. Oh, never mind. We're not the only people in. They seem nice. Mr. Fingers, could I learn to play the piano like that? Why, sure you could. You know, you two remind me of two of my own 17 children. Really? What are their names? Four and eleven. When you have 17 kids, it's much easier that way. He has 17 kids? Dang! I thought he was like the single bachelor who played the piano, but no, no! Alright! Well, I think that's all the clues we're gonna get out of here, so let's hightail it out of here. Yeah, hi, it's me. Listen, I wanna talk to you about that note. Oh. Well, we have another suspicious character. So it's like the squid and the and full Nelson are just like in cahoots for this one. <laughs> They're both acting very shady. At least the squid is better at hiding it, though. <laughs> All right, let's see what's over this way, shall we? Oh, this looks inviting, doesn't it? Creepy. Do you think that could be the rusty wrestler they mentioned in the note? Hey, maybe it is. Oh, never mind. That's the soda loon, not the Rusty Rustler saloon. That makes sense. I'm like, wait, th there's a saloon just for the rustlers? No, this is the place. Anyways. <laughs> it's the best frill ride in 2019. <laughs> Come on, let's check out that hatch. Okay. Alrighty. Well, this looks inviting, doesn't it? It won't open! It's locked! Wait a minute! Didn't I see a combination written somewhere? Hmm. Yeah, you did, Luther. It shouldn't be too hard. We just have to punch in the combination. Alright, so this is where we need the note from the saloon. So it said the combination was 1, 2, 6. That will change every single time you play it. So? What? One, two, nine, eight, seven, six. There we go. We did it! It's open! Boy, I'll say! I guess the lock was the only thing holding the door on. Tom Sarnett, what's that racket? Someone's coming! Hurry! Ah, oh, fiddlesticks! The door came off again. Well, I guess I'll just have to sit here and stand guard. I wonder if they still called it standing guard if you're sitting down. That must be one of the rustlers. I hear the hogfish in there. Let's go, Luther. 
Hold on. Is, is like the whole town just involved like in this rustler conspiracy? <laughs> Because it seems to me like there are two people in town, Full Nelson and Fingers, who are in on this. Then there's also this guy. The only person we've met who, like, isn't, besides Cousin Calico, is probably the Soda Moon Lady. <laughs> and even then, she also might be involved with it. Holy cow, maybe Cousin Calico's just really incompetent at running the farm. <laughs> and they're like, you know, maybe we should help her out a little. <laughs> maybe maybe we need to confiscate her hog fish for the good of everyone. <laughs> One possible theory. Anyhow, let's go on in. Without adult supervision. It's wrestlers only in the hideout. Oops, I didn't think I was supposed to say it was a hideout. We might be wrestlers. How do you know we're not wrestlers? That's easy. You're not dressed like wrestlers. If you were a wrestler, you'd have a 10 gallon hat like mine, a belt buckle like mine, and a fashionable bow tie. All wrestlers dress exactly alike? Yep, we all wear the latest wrestler gear. You can see from this picture in WrestleMania magazine. <laughs> hmm, a purple 10 gallon hat, a big old belt buckle with an S on it, and a bow tie. Since you're not wearing these things, you must not be wrestlers, so you can't come in. Because this hideout is for wrestlers only. <laughs> okay. Thank you. <laughs> this is the wrestler hideout, all right. I'm sure the hogfish are inside. What are we going to do? We've got to get some new clothes. <laughs> yeah, so this is kind of the premise where we immediately find the hideout where it's hiding, but we just need to get in and we need to impersonate a wrestler. Because apparently there's a whole magazine devoted just to rustling hogfish and it's getting published and uh, no one cares about that. Let's take a look at this. I think these <laughs> to the well-dressed nice. wrestler. <laughs> oh, he's wearing 10-gallon hat. Purple is in this year. You have to have a belt buckle made by Swanky. And bow ties emphasize style We don't have any of those things. We'd better get cracking. Also, he apparently has to have a mustache, and you must be a shark or a dolphin. I don't know what this guy is supposed to be. But, uh, yeah, kind of an interesting premise. I love, this guy's very incompetent and also very nice, so he's just like, you can't, like, oh yeah, this is totally the Rustler's hideout. Yeah, we're totally Rustlers. Oh, you can't come in unless you're a Rustler yourself. You are very lucky the Sheriff is out of town. Or maybe the Sheriff's in on the conspiracy. Who knows? Hey, Freddy, can we eat this note now, like it says? Well, I guess we won't need the combination anymore. Well? I can see why the wrestlers didn't eat it. It tasted like paper. Yep. <laughs> Anyhow, that's it for today. Thanks for watching, everybody. We have now discovered what we need to do for the game. We've got to get into that wrestler hideout. We need our own purple 10 gallon hat, our own bow tie, and our own buckle, belt buckle with an S on it, because the S stands for swanky. And that's exactly what we are when we're wearing that getup. Anyhow, thanks again for watching, everybody, and until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.